are you talking about? Um, what's that his name again? Mr. Fierce now. Okay, what are you talking about? If this guy is serious, make the send us do, man. Yo. Anyway, if he invites me to his country, we yeah, will go. I'm even probably settle down to marry him. Tracy, you have to start thinking home. Think home. There are better guys in Nigeria you can settle down with and have a wonderful I life. Beg you. Is it the likes of Francis that will travel tomorrow and marry a white girl? I beg you. You know what I think? You still have to start thinking home. Anyway, what is important to me now is who is going to settle my bills. Sorry if I'm disturbing you, okay? Say what you want to say. I've been seeing you here for quite some time now. You're the prettiest lady I've seen. Is that all you stopped me for to say? Please, I've heard that several times now. Sorry, excuse me. You can't walk away like that. Okay? I've been hanging around here. I've been driving all around just to have a glimpse of you. Okay? So what's your name? I don't know you. And I don't tell strangers my name. Well, fine, you don't know me, okay? But um, I'm not anonymous. I'm Leslie Brown. I'm the son of Chief Brown. I'm sure that's not strange to you. Chief Brown? The owner of um, Brown and Brown Industries? Oh, why not? That's my dad. <laughs> oh! Oh, really? Well, then. I'm Chris Michael and um, Roscoe. <laughs> this is my friend, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi. Well, She's a celebrity, yo. <laughs> well, at least a, enough of my dad. I've not come here to talk about my father, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, we have to run now. We're almost late. Eh? Uh, okay, and what if I ask for a lunch tomorrow? <laughs> okay, if um, that will make you happy. Beautiful. Then I, I want to make a second request, okay? Do you mind if I drop you home? <laughs> Don't bother. <laughs> we'll take a bite. No, I insist. Use my car. Okay, Vince. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hop in, guys. Around the cyber cafe. Lady, I told you I like now that fairy. Oh, 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 that's a pretty angel. Her name is Tracy. I've got her. <laughs> How did this happen? Well, man, it's a long story. She's mine now. <laughs> when does shall never end? You, Leslie, falling in love. <laughs> I can't believe it. I oh, can't. You better believe it, Ben. You better believe it, Ben. What? And I finally found the woman of my choice. Which means um, she's a very lucky girl winning your heart. You can say that again. Say it again, man. Well, I'm very, very happy for you. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. But, um, Leslie, this girl you're talking about, how much do you know about her? Well, I've known the much I need to know about her. I'm not a ghost. She's from a good, a disciplined home. Mm -hmm. Her parents are very religious. Mm -hmm. She's an undergraduate. She has a kid brother. I know her mom, I know her dad. <laughs> what else? And you think that's enough to define her? Ben, is there something you know about this girl? Do you know her from Adam? I mean, why all the questions? Is there anything you know that? No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. Don't just get me wrong. It's just that there's something you never can tell about these um, internet-free girls. 
But altogether, I have my reservations about our loyalty. Oh, well, and you had better be personal and subjective opinion, okay? Okay, yes, sir. At your command. At your command. Yeah, right. So, what do you think is this? Oh, that's good. That's good. Come on, yeah. You're sparking something. So, where are we going? Anyway, take it to you. Let me just take it downstairs. Let's go and share one small. Mike, please, I beg, find me 500 naira there. I, I want to get to the cyber cafe, right? I'll be back in the jiffy. Yes. I think it's time you put a stop to all this your browsing nonsense. Huh? Listen, you need to go out there and get yourself a, a more dignifying job. Instead of all this your... Look, please. please. Oh, oh, listen, listen. Look, I understand what you are trying to say. But, but listen, I am doing my best to make things work. Look, I have to get in touch since this white girl is coming down. Do some browsing job. Which lady? The white girl, of course. Just I think you're Joseph the dreamer. Listen, this white girl, she's coming over for real. Look, all I have to do is just check my mail and see if she's doing some tidying up to, for her coming over. Look, I just have to keep chatting with her. You know, Michael, what Net and Cyber Cafe has joined together, let no Mike put asunder. You know what I'm saying? Bros, 500 naira. Charles, Charles, well, <laughs> Charles, anyway. <laughs> But tell me, if this girl comes, what happens to Lilian? Forget about her. Huh? Forget about her. Are you, listen, after all this girl has suffered for you, I mean, are you telling me that... I said forget about her. Listen, she's not your sister, is she? Look, I have other things I am not buoyant enough to take good care of her. And I've got to make a statement. And how do I make a statement, my man? All I have to do, face this browsing nothing, let this girl come over, and I make my money. And before you know it, I am making a statement to that man. I, I can then marry Lillian. She can wait, my man. Talk about the devil. Hi. Baby girl, <laughs> long time. Hi, how are you? I'm cool, I'm fine. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Hi, Charles, what's up? I, I, I am fine. Where are you going? Isn't it obvious I came to see you? All I'm trying to say is at least you should have given me a call or something. Can someone walk to the room? Oh, honey, I, I, I am what? sorry, right? All, all, all I'm trying to say is as you can see, as you're coming in, I am going out. There is this my friend from Shell. He just brought in a form for me to fill. So I have to fill this form today because he'll be going back to Portacourt tomorrow morning. You can see. Job opportunity, baby. You do good. Mm. See you. Uh, you can make, make yourself comfortable. My, uh, uh, all you have to do is just please chat her up for me. And I can. Okay. Make, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no problem. Make yourself comfortable. Love you, baby girl. Uh, um, um. Sorry about it all. You know your guy and his um derisive way of approach. I think he's being naive or um, uncivilized. You know him now. Mike. Be honest to me, what is going on? Why is your friend treating me like this? Listen, nothing actually. What's wrong with him? I've not done anything wrong to him. Why? Why? I, I don't understand this. For long now, he has not been picking my calls. Since yesterday till now, I've been calling. I know how many times I called him. Not even once. He didn't even pick my calls once. It's not fair. I mean, what? I've not done anything wrong. Why is he treating me like this? Listen, I don't deserve this. You know that. I know you don't deserve this. You, you see, I think he has one or two problems, you know. You know his situation now. I think it's because frustration is beginning to set in. Think about it. A, a, a petrochemical engineer, first class petrochemical engineer. For four years now, he has not gotten any job. It's all about frustration. I, I, I will, please, understand it. My daddy gave him a job, he refused it. 
I tried getting him an apartment. He refused it. I gave him money last week. He still refused it. I mean, what what do I do? All he has to tell me is that it makes him feel like a chicken. What is it? Don't worry, Lillian. I will talk to him, and I'm sure he will change. Please, now. If I've done anything wrong to him, beg him to forgive me. Don't worry, Lillian. I will talk to him, and I'm sure he will change. Huh? I am sure of that. Don't cry, please. Could you, could you give me a smile, please? Please, I'm sorry about that. point uh, we became so much worried about our son we began to think uh, he's a gay <laughs> what? <laughs> just because he doesn't talk to girls and none of the girls come looking for him you see everything about girls puts him off all he does is walk 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 look, look at him dad dad come on <laughs> And because he's our only son, we became so concerned because we cannot stand the scandals that will... That we want, that we want, that we want. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that, yes, that's the truth, that's the truth. Well, suddenly, two weeks ago, he came telling us about you and here you are today. My dear, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Just like I said, this home is your home. Feel free to come in any time you want. Is that okay? It's, it's okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are very much welcome, my dear. Darling, yeah, yeah. let me go and set the table. Please do. But make sure you dish out the best of the best from your bottom pot. And trust me, yeah. son. <laughs> Mom, excuse me, my dear. Okay, Mom. This is nice really a thing we've been waiting for. <laughs> and at a time, we thought that uh, Leslie would take up to priesthood. <laughs> ah, that <laughs> you're still dealing with me. John! John! Oh! Let's go browsing. Ooh la la la. <laughs> Let's go browsing. Ooh la la la. <laughs> Let's go browsing. Ooh la la la. What la is it? Michael, level don't change. Which level change? She's coming day after tomorrow. She they come from Obodo, America to Obodo, Nigeria. Oh. <laughs> hey! 
clear business. Hey! The white girl. <laughs> Problem for us together. It's about white girl coming. Don't Because level don't change. What's up? What's happening? What's the latest? Give me this. She's finally coming to Nigeria. The day mean... after tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. You mean Clear Bisset? Wait, 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 Poster. Yes, because it has to be the press. You understand now? Yeah, you know, yes, yes. This is why people they believe in what they see. Do, do you know what we're going to do? What? Things yes, there have to be some changes in this house. Okay. In my house? Yes. Uh, uh, first see. and foremost, this automa this car automatically becomes mine. My car? Oh. Miko, Miko, Miko. Relax. <laughs> and this apartment too becomes Mine also. Listen, listen, listen. I, 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 I can't take this. As soon as this white girl comes and leaves, you take what belongs to you. <laughs> this girl has to be impressed. Impressed? Yeah, exactly. That means I will turn to your husband in, this, in my you own house. I am your boss now to practically throw you. You should know that. This is great for me now. This now. Nicole, I'm just so. I'm just so. In level one, two. Uh, no, no, that's just, good. just, uh, just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not fun. Relax. On the start level, this night just gave plans to host the baby. Anyway, let's see. That's my girl. No problem, right? Give it back. Which one you did? Anyhow, now. Anyhow, anyhow. Level don't change. I don't throw. <laughs> Others left. Wah. Right. Me. Wah. Right. Okay. Mm. Uh, guys. My guy is sitting around for face like. Let's go. Are you going up? Um, since your guys are here, man, what do I do? Let's go, let's go impression time! Let's go, 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 I am the first Miko, I am now the number one, Eddie Vegas. You know the new one. Leslie, I was sent out of school today because I haven't paid my school fees. And um, there's also the problem of um, lesson fees. It's about 1,500 naira, and it's very compulsory for every student of the school. And I have still not paid till today. And how much is the school fees? 12,000 naira. 12K? In the after school tutorials? 1,500. Well, I'll say you don't have a problem. <sighs> Thank you so much, bro. Let's see. Always talk to your sister. She knows how to get me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how to get you? Of course, you know how to get me. <laughs> okay, and that means you have to be loyal. Bro, let's see, Axel, I'm very loyal now. Is he loyal? Yes, he is. Oh, that's a pass mark for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's funny. Thank this you. is loyal. Thank you. Mm. Are you giving us a press?
Africa. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to meet you. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, do you do it. Do you have anything there? Oh, no, dear, I don't. Uh, hi, sir. Come on, pick this back. Okay, I'll get it. Mike, sir, can you please go and get the bag? Come on in and check what I've got inside. I can't wait. I can't wait. That's oh. good. Enough. All right. And no, he did it. Wow. Yeah. You did it? Uh, well, it was all his ideas. We um, haven't seen nothing yet. He's he's full of surprises. Oh, I love surprises. I'm going to give you more, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. Just a minute. Oh, boy, I'm shaking. I am so happy to have you around. You know, I've always been dreaming of coming to Africa. I've heard a lot about African culture and I'm so happy to be in Africa, especially with you. Oh, baby, a typical African man is an embodiment of African culture. You soon find out yourself. Um, there is this festival that will be coming up in my village in two weeks' time. I will go together and oh. see a lot of African culture, you know, displayed in the grand style. Oh, I can wait all day. That's my... <laughs> wow. Oh my God. So oh, stand up, boy. Let me help you, let me help you. Permit me to welcome your family to our country, Nigeria. Oh, go on. Um, please grant me the honor to open this. Go on. Go on. Okay. Ladies first. Oh, why don't you practice that in Africa? The man of the moment. <laughs> Let's propose a toast to the queen of my heart. Oh. Uh, I once again formally welcome you to our country, Nigeria. <laughs> I wish you find happiness, oh. peace, and rest of mind in Thank you. us. Thank you You're welcome. So Make a no put the gate, no matter who him be. You dey hear? I don't say put the gate. Just 
Sorry, Lillian. You see, um, it wasn't a deliberate act, you know. For some time now, um, a gang of armed robbers have been terrorizing uh, this neighborhood. And uh, we've been that security conscious. I am sorry about it. I'm sorry for the embarrassment, please. I'm very, very sorry about it. Okay, where's your friend? Hope no, 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 he's, he's not. He's not. Actually, he, he, he traveled to Abuja for, for an interview, yes. Abuja? Yes. When? How? Um, what? I mean, just, he should have at least told me. Well, he, 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 it was an emergency thing, so he, he went, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, when is he coming? Um, he said that uh, after the interview that he's going to stay for two weeks before two coming back. What? Yes, two weeks. Good! Uh, but he'll be back. Oh. He'll come, he'll come. Yes. This is not fair. I'm... No, he, you know the job thing now. He, he needs this job. He needs this job, you know. Sure, tell him to see me as soon as he comes. Okay, I'll definitely. I will tell him. What kind of soup would you like to eat it with? What kind of soup do you make it with? Banga soup. What? Banga soup. Banga. A banga. A banyangi. No means banga. Bingo. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Oh baby. Uh, <laughs> well, I wanna learn. Girl, you, you're too you're too much. You're too <laughs> sweet, baby. Oh, I you. love you, baby. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank I'm you. so That's happy. Much. I'm really happy. So I'm going to eat a new and a binyanga and soup. Having pains in my bones. Doctor says kidney disease. Honestly, how am I going to die? No, come on, Tracy. Nothing is going to happen to you, okay? You're not going to die. 
My God will not let you, okay? Amen. I'm scared. No, you know you're gonna be okay. Alright? Um, let me run over to see the doctor, okay? Um, Rose, please do take care of her, okay? Yes. But her sound scan reveals that she has adult polycystic kidney disease. And uh, she has a large kidney. That's a large and not black kidney. Doctor, are you trying to say she will have to just undergo a kidney transplant? She needs major operation and that will cost her money. So what are her chances? Well, that depends on how fast you can act. We'll place her on dialysis and that will also cost money. The earlier we carry out this surgery, the better. Um, how much are we looking at here? We're talking about 4 million naira. 4 million naira? That, that's outrageous. Well, where am I going to get that kind of money from? It's a delicate operation. It has to do with life. It's delicate. Anyway, doctor, just, just do whatever you can, okay? Just do whatever you can. I'll try my best. Now, let me go around and see what I can do from my own side. I'm doing all this because of the long-time relationship we have enjoyed in the past. We are just want to help each other after all. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm grateful. Well, the rest are short. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Let me get back to the work now. Okay. Takes out business. You see, it's very, very lucrative down here, and once you do it, you make a lot of money. That sounds interesting. Ah, you really have a foresight, you know. But, like, how much do you think you need for all this? Uh, like, say, um, 500,000 US dollars. 500,000 US dollars? That's quite a lot of money, you know. That's half a million dollars. You know something, baby? We need certain things. The first thing you do is you acquire land. A lot of land. Then you build your factory on it. And you buy a lot of materials, a lot of machinery, a lot of equipment, man. And again, you need a lot of vehicles to move your materials in and to get your product down to the consumers. And let me assure you of one thing, honey. If you invest such money in, you make about, say, 300% profit within or less than a year. Wow, that's so terrific. Interesting. But are you sure the $500,000 will be enough for what you've just enumerated? Yes, sir. No, no, no. <clears throat> You see, honey, since we, I think we don't have much money, we just have to make deal with what we've got. Okay. Well, later we'll be needing more, you know. Okay, just put it into writing. Then um, as soon as I get to the state, I'll forward it to my dad. But it is really, really interesting. I look forward to this. That's my baby girl. Mm -hmm. That's my sugar baby girl. Um, honey, how do I look? Oh my god, this is lovely. You look gorgeous. This is like PDD, you know. Oh, Amy, that's <laughs> nice, sugar. You know something? Everything close to you is just like everything close to God. Oh my god. And honey, since we've discussed business, why don't we just discuss it on the shit? Oh. Uh... Wake up, Leslie, wake up. How could you have agreed to such eyewash? It's ridiculous. Quite unbelievable. Look, Ben, why are you talking like this now? Eh? I don't just understand. This is a matter of life and death. 
it's either I give her the money or she dies. Listen, Leslie. Women are not worth investing in. $50,000 is not a small amount of money to throw to the trash. Look, if you don't have anything to do with it, bring it and I will help you invest it wisely. Look, forget that girl and, and, and look for another person. There are lots of them out there. You advise me to forget my, my, my only love. Just because she has a problem, Ben. That's the highest state of the man. I can't believe you. Listen, listen, with this listen, listen. Come on, get this investment. You don't know women. They are too wicked. They are like the two-edged sword. More dangerous than the viper. Look, Leslie. They don't deserve such compassion. $50,000. Come on, Leslie. There are lots of things to do with money. That girl is bad news, okay? Listen, Ben, for your information, Tracy and I are getting married. And whatever I do for her, she deserves it. If helping Tracy is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Okay? She, she means more than all this you're saying to me. So I don't regret whatever I do for Tracy. Okay? Gosh. What? It's your life. Sure, it's my life. Um, I, I thought you were going somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to get back to the office before. Okay, um, all right, I'm done. Yeah, man. Okay? I can explain everything. Do you have to tell me what this thing told me? And even you were as stupid as I trusted you. Lily, yeah. Shh. Just shut up. Okay. It's all about this wife thing. I thought you could do better. Lillian, please, there's no mature way we can handle this, okay? Who's always talking about maturity? Just shut up. Lillian. What? Don't you call that name again. Do you understand? Uh, Lillian, just try and hear me out first. It's over. Lily, look at you. We handle it more maturely at home. Oh, yeah? Tony, don't talk when I talk. Don't you dare. Look at you. When everything has always been Charles, 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 it has always been you. You don't care about my feelings. You don't care about the sleepless and everything I've gone through because of you. Just shut up, let me No problem. Catch your phone. Do anything you want. Okay, but I assure you, one day, very soon, you will regret Lily, this. Yeah. And as for you, you were like a brother to me. Yeah. Yes, I am. I believed everything you told me. You fooled me. You thought you fooled me? You fooled yourself. You don't understand. Get up! Get up! Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, baby girl, for that little drama that happened over there. Everything is under control now. But who is she? She doesn't look too happy. No, she's not happy. You know, she's my niece. Really? Yeah, hold on, baby. She just got deported from... Hero. Since she got deported, she has this kind of hatred for white people. Oh, you know she's a racist now. Oh, but yeah. don't worry, baby. I will soon get everything under control. Why don't we just go to where we're going to? You don't want me to talk to no, 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 baby. You talk. I'll take you to her later. Are you sure? Why don't you just let baby come and have fun? Forget about us. You would never understand. Oh, this is under control, huh? Oh, God.
Lilia, what is the matter? Why are you crying? It's Charles. What about Charles? Has he abandoned you? Just see yourself. I told you that boy is a gold digger. He just wanted their money and nothing else. He did not abandon me and he can't. Then what is it? What has he done to you? He was arrested yesterday. Arrested? And then you must have done something because I know that police cannot just arrest anybody without anything. He didn't do anything. He was mistaken for an arm robber. Arm robber? Oh my god. I know it that this girl would drag my name in the mud one day. I know that boy is a criminal. Daddy is not. He's innocent. You need to stand before the mirror and watch your mouth say that nonsense. How do you know he's innocent? We were together yesterday when he decided to stroll on his own. He didn't know there has been an arm robbery case and left the victim dead and he just walked into the police if they arrested him. Oh well, it's a, it's, it's a pity, it's a pity. Is that why you want to kill yourself? See, there is nothing I can do to help him. I'm not a police officer. And the police now, they will tell him or even kill him. He doesn't have anybody to advocate for him, but with your position and your influence, you can get him out. He's no. Can't you see that there is nothing I can do? And besides, I don't want to get my name involved with such matters. Daddy, you're involved. You're involved. Me, I'm involved you, so you are to. I've already told the DP that you're my father, and he said if you can give your word for him, he will release him. If you don't do anything, I'm going to kill myself. Lilia! I'll do it. Sure, he's innocent. I'm very sure. Which police station? Yeah, ever. I know, I don't know. Okay, I'll do something. Do something now. I said I will do something. Take your phone now. It hurts so bad, 
It feels so sad Nothing seems to matter at all The pain of a broken heart It feels like the end of the world You feel like you want to end No matter at all the pains of a broken heart. I took a day off to uh, look after Lillian. You know, she's um, getting worse, and in fact, she's devastated. But uh, not to worry, I put her on a drip. So, is it all that bad? Hmm. You, you can see her. Ever since you traveled, she's been having terrible time. I want this girl. That chance. I've always had my reservations about him. I knew he was treacherous, a criminal, and a cold I knew it! Uh, uh, don't wake her. She's resting, sir. You see? I warned her initially about that boy, but she didn't listen. She had a blind love for a criminal. See, I want to reduce me to an object of laughter. Myself! No, I think you are being too hard on her. 
It's not her fault after all. Oh. You see, that boy would weak her into believing that he loves her. Anyway, I think um, she'll soon get over it. Richard, I'm not being too hard on her. Just try and understand me. I don't want to bury any of my own prematurely again. Ever since their mother died, it has not been very easy for me. I've been trying very hard to provide for them all that life could offer. Yeah. Yet, look at her. I think what I will do is that I have to make her leave this country for a while. I think that would be better. Let her go and join her brothers there. A change of environment will definitely enable her to uh, forget about the trauma. I, I believe so, sir. Yes. Let me go inside and change. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, we agreed we're going to the mall, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, you're laughing. <laughs> this is best here, okay? Oh, with this. Past time here, yeah. This is really here. Yeah. This ain't giving me a finger, okay? Oh, it's good. So call him again before you arrive, okay? okay. And your brothers will be there to take good care of you. Uh, good. <laughs> let me thank you for everything. I won't let you down. Oh, shh. I don't <laughs> want you to say much. Just be a good girl. Yeah. And promise me you will not bother yourself thinking about that vagabond, that, that criminal. On oh, my honor, I will. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> going to miss her flight or... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe her schedule, okay? Let's be going. Okay, I hope I will call you. Okay, I'll be calling you. Bring him in. Yes, sir.
What are you doing here? I, I, I want to see Lillian, sir. You're a fool! After I warned you never to step into this house, you still have the guts with that stupid earring to come here and ask for my own daughter? Please, sir, forgive me. I just want to come and beg for forgiveness. I just want you to please forgive me and let bygone be bygone, sir. I am really, really sorry, sir. Mm. Please. So you are sorry? I'm, I'm very sorry. You are sure you are sorry? I'm, I'm sure I am sorry, sir. Mm. Get up, get up. Get up. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Uh, sit, sit down. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, what do I offer you? Sir? Yes, what do I offer you? And Coke. Coke. Are you sure you're okay with Coke? Yes, sir. Okay. Wait, I'm coming. And this is Ify, my new baby. Okay, and Tony, I'm sorry, Charles. Let me see. Uh, one minute. Sugar pie, you know something? Uh, can you please wait for me in the car? Okay, I'm Charles, please. All right, please. So, Charles, tell me. What, what is the woman for this? Of what? Who is the one of that car? That's my new girl. Yeah, he's yeah. But who is that girl? That's my new baby. Your what? My new catch. What about Lily? Okay. Give me a break. Listen, do you want me to go abroad, start looking for one girl all around? One girl called Lillian? She left me here. I went to London or somewhere. I don't care. What about Claire? Claire. Yes, Claire. Are you saying Claire? We needed money from Claire. And this is it. This is not the game plan, Jazz. Who said? Claire is like a gold mine. And you know it. You mean you you you, you have abandoned Lillian that picked you from the scratch, from the gutters? You guys, are you ready to roll with me? We're going out now, we're going to roll. I'm not rolling with you anything. I am not. Just you disappoint me. Just you are your own. Oh God. I told you. Baby girl, Tony, they're not going out. So why don't you just scream inside? Come on, baby. That's my girl. One 
Let's go. Are you asking me? had enough money. So, guys. Guys. I'll be in my room. Then I'll, okay. 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 Jazz is going mad. Yes. This is what I've used the money for. They have sent me $200,000 out of the $500,000 I demanded for the rubber and steel business. Charles, Charles, you're there already. Yes. Look at, look at, look at, look at. I can't believe it. This is, this is sweet. Charles, you're a sly devil. And my boy, this is my $200,000. Jesus. This is my rubber and steel business. Oh so, yeah, I can see. Let that <laughs> just you are there. Give me five. <laughs> and you see, by the time I receive my three hundred thousand US dollars, bros, I go right down. This money is well invested now. But for that three hundred thousand dollars, eh? I insist you invest it. By the time I receive my three hundred thousand US dollars. The honeymoon is over. Uh, uh, Claire chapter will be closed for you. Just no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Are you telling me you're going to dump her? No, 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 no. See now. I am not going to dump her. Neither will I give her a red card, but I will make sure I eradicate her. Okay, wait, Just. You dump Lilia. And now you want to dump Claire. Can't you see? This Claire girl is a gold mine. If you marry these girls, you're not going to make money. You make more contact. Automatically, you become a U.S. citizen. And you know what that means? Green card. What do you mean green card? I already have green card in my country. What, what is the color of our flag? Green, white, green. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. As for Lillian, I went to her house just to tell the old man that Charles is now there. The man looked at me and chased me out with a gun. What do you want me to do? And as for the white girl, it was pure business. And the business is over. <laughs> you mean you still go there? You still go there? <laughs> Just. Okay. It's okay. But if you must go there again, please, all you have to do is just prepare your way down. And please, I beg you in the name of the Lord. Make me your hair apparatus. Yeah, everyone listen. <laughs> you see, get this thing straight. When, when you go browsing, you go business. It is business. Claire, she's just business. Look, if I marry white woman, I'm not okay. If fly the drink there too much, you go this. I don't want to buy that. Not, nothing is stopping you from investing. I am not investing shit. Ooh. You want to see me upstairs? All right, sugar. Let's go. I, I, I'm sorry, my man. I want to talk to my sweetheart upstairs. I'll be back. Come now, did you win the American lottery? Yeah. 
About Tracy, uh, she traveled to Abuja since two weeks ago. Lucy, yes, she said a, a white man invited her for a contract. She went to Abuja and she didn't tell me, she didn't call me to say nothing. She didn't tell you, no, I don't know. I thought she told you. We are the verge of our marriage plans, and she's not telling me anything. I mean, she can't just go like that without me knowing. I don't know, she did not tell you. I didn't know, I didn't know at all. Bye bye.
told me you were going to Abuja. Now you're back. And with your car parking outside there. And you said a door has been opened. Yet you have not told me anything. You have not even sat at a place to discuss with me. Leslie has been coming here without meeting you. What is going on? Mama, relax. There's no problem, eh? There's no problem. Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. I met this man on the internet. A white man. <laughs> Mama, he is very rich. Very rich, Mama. He's been sending me a lot of money. That's the money I use in buying the car park outside. And it's the money I've been spending all this while, Mama. And he has even promised to marry me. Do you see? A white man? Yes, Mama. You mean a white man wants to marry you? Yes, Mama. Well, Tracy, what about Leslie? <sighs> Mama, please leave Leslie out of this now. No, Tracy, no. This boy has been helping us. And you cannot just abandon him like that. No. Mama, Mama, I know a bigger opportunity when I see one. And this is a bigger opportunity, Mama. Mm. It is. For how long are we going to suffer like this? We've suffered a lot, Mama. God has finally decided to lift us out of poverty. Tracy, leave God out of this. Perhaps I should tell you a few things. But first, let me ask you. Do you still believe in God? Yes, Papa. And do you believe that the Bible is the word of God? Yes, I do. Good. Now, do you still remember that portion that enjoys us? Not to betray the trust reposed in us. Do you? Papa, I don't know what you're talking about. I am not betraying anybody's trust. Now. That's exactly what you are trying to do, Tracy. Biting the fingers that fed you. That young man has done a lot in your life. He delivered you out of the cool hands of death. Nurtured your life to a better standard. Paid your school fees. Gave your mother a livelihood. And still pays your, your junior brother's uh, school fees. Now, let me ask you, Tracy. Do you intend paying him back of all his kindness with this? Papa, I am not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for all of us. Eh? I don't know why you're reacting so indifferently, Papa. That's the lie. You lie, Tracy. You are only doing this to satisfy your selfish end. That young man has done a lot in your life. And I will not stand here to watch you betray him. I don't know why Papa is talking like this now. For God's sake, this white man is very rich. I'm still confused Mama, about this white Mama, man issue. There's, please, there's nothing to be confused about. I know what I'm talking about, Mama. I tell you, this man is very rich. Are we going to remain in poverty forever? Richard and Leslie. Yes, Mama. I'm telling you the truth. Tracy. Tracy. Mama. And he wants to marry you. Yes, Mama. Please. Tracy. Please. please. Your father is right. Mama, please. You mean he's very rich? Mama, I am telling you the truth. Richard and Leslie. Mama, this man is richer than Leslie. <laughs> Mama, Papa, this is a surprise package I have. Chrissy, why is this place? I mean, whose house is this? Mama, it's my house. Your house? The house the white man rented for me. Will you shut your mouth if I shut it for you? So, this is all about the surprise you have for us. I know. You must have been into some mischief. Uh, uh, papa. Don't papa me! What on earth will make you bring me to this sacrilegious place? Papi Kenna, why are you talking like this? Eh? Your daughter has acquired something great and valuable. Instead of you to rejoice with her... I don't rejoice with evil. I don't rejoice with evil, woman. This is evil. I reject it. My daughter is not evil, and she will never be in Jesus' name. I see. So, you have been behind this scene all along. I should have known that. Show me a bad girl, 
and I will show you the daughter of a bad woman. Babigena, how dare you? How dare you come in and... Ah. You want me to disown my only daughter because she has achieved... She has level. already been disowned. Woman, she has already been disowned. Tracy, I cease to be part of this. You can now. Let us go. Papi, can I come? Come on, let us go! Do you hear me? Papi, can come on. You can now. Open it now, let us go. Papi, can now. Continue staying here. The rent will soon expire. It doesn't matter. I will take care of that. Where are you born to suffer? I don't care. I have taken that decision and that is final. Are you not tired of living like this? Eh? That's why I want you and Ikena to come and stay with me. <laughs> I, Michael Okonkwo, move into that satanic house of yours over my dead body. I have taken my decision and that is fine now. No, 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 Papa, please. Please, there's a better way of handling this issue. Rose, it's too late. I've already made up my mind. If both of you still have anything left in this house, go and remove them and get out of this place. Never to come back because I'll have you thrown out. Ikenna, you heard me. They both cease to be part of this family until they come. Tracy, wait. Tracy, wait. Tracy, we need to talk. About what? We've got a lot to talk about. I mean, things are no longer the way they used to seem with us, and you know it, Tracy. Well, I'm not in the mood to talk right now. I have an appointment. I don't want to be late. Let's leave it for next time. Tracy! Next time. Rose, please, shh, please. Stop it, Rose. Stop it. Do you still want to stay in this place? Don't you like a better life? Go and convince your father. But, Mommy, you know there's nothing I can do now. He's already made up his mind. And it's hard to convince me. He has made up his mind. He's your father. Go and talk to him. If you want to stay well, mm -hmm. as for me, I cannot stay in this place again. No I can't. I, can do now. I mean, what could be more important an issue than that which concerns us? Like I said, I'm not in the mood to talk right now, okay? Tracy, I demand to know what you're talking about, Tracy. Tracy? 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 Tracy, have you gone mad?
No, don't smile with me. Because you are doing the wrong thing. For Christ's sake, you are avoiding him. And that is not the game plan. What do you mean by that is not the game plan? Huh? What am I supposed to do? A lot more than what you're doing now. Like what? You need more maturity to be able to put this whole thing under control. I mean, who said you cannot have your normal romance with Leslie just because of one white cock? I beg, I beg, I beg, Rosie, please. You know I don't do this double Jason thing. Mm. So they will start it with me now, please. It's not my style. Tracy, you surprised me. I thought you just wanted to collect some cash from this guy and leave him. Rose, my marriage to this white guy is going to give me some international reputation. And that is what I really want. Just listen to yourself talk, Tracy. Leslie is going down. He actually came crying to me like a baby the other day. Don't you have conscience? Conscience? Yes. Hmm. Conscience is not what I need now. Wisdom, that's what I need, Rose. Tracy, this is not fair. This is not fair. For God's sake, you're paying evil for good. You can call it whatever you like. I don't care. This is simply an opportunity. And I'm not about to let it go. If I play it now, I lose it. And I'm not about to lose it. Okay? So Leslie can wait with his love for all I can. This is not fair. That's all I can say. This is not fair. Tracy, you don't think you are here, you know? Hi, Hi. Hi. I was going to come over after work. Listen, I've come to tell you I don't like the way you've been talking about me with your friends. Me? Discussing you? You know, everywhere I go to is Tracy did this, Tracy did that. I don't like it, please. I want you to stop. It was just a friend I complained, and that was based on what happened the last time I came to your place. I mean, there's no... I haven't told anybody, so what are you talking about? Come on. Less than years. I've made my point. I don't like it. I don't. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, anyway Sham, I'm sorry too. It's just that Daddy's been giving me stress. That's why I've not been seeing you. Anyway, I'm no, 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 Tracy, I, I thought you were calling me. You were here to stay. I mean, just about you came in now, you're going immediately. What is that? Do you know how much I'm rounding you around? Please come, come, show me, please. Tracy, you're dealing with me. Oh, God, this is very sick. Something is wrong somewhere. Claire, she doesn't pick my calls again. She disallow my calls when she eventually picks up my call. You see her yelling at me, telling me, let me call this phone again. And I don't know what is going on. Something is wrong somewhere and I need you guys to help me out. Something is definitely wrong somewhere, Charles. I mean, did you in any way discuss this intended project with anybody else? No, 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 actually, why? Just the three of us, just the three of us. And up to now, she has not sent in the $300,000. Not even the Kobo. No, she has not sent in any money. Look, guys, I, I, I still insist that you guys should go and look for something novel to do instead of this, your browsing forward minded. Look, look for something good. Invest your time well. Listen, it's only genuine business that lasts. Instead of this, look at what is happening to you now. This is your forward night. Look, if this moogus don't come tomorrow, that means all these your mansions and everything will go down the drain. 
good business last. Oh, just no mind is pastor. Just relax, eh? Don't take it too hard upon yourself. Okay. I'm sure she will still send in the money. Maybe she's trying to organize herself or something like that. Um, guys, I've got good news for you. Good news? <laughs> My visa has just been confirmed this afternoon from the embassy. <laughs> Are you sure you you traveling to which country? United States of America. America! Yeah, has it been confirmed? I'm telling you that I'm, I'm already there. You're asking if it's confirmed. Why have you been keeping it to yourself? Just want to surprise you guys. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Tell me, your visa is ready. But what? I carry whatever amount. Hey! <laughs> this is what I said. Browsing is good business. business. Let's go browsing. Ooh la la la. I told you. I Let's go browsing. Ooh la la la. I know the first person you're going to contact as soon as you get into the U.S. is Claire. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure you're going to make sure she sent my 300,000 U.S. dollars to me. Sending the money. Huh? Yeah. What are we friends for? God bless us together. Your problem is certainly my problem. So, consider it done. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go, Brownsy. <laughs> la, la, la. That's my man. Uh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me tell you, I still insist in Listen, don't insist. Guys, go. I'm taking you guys out. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Tracy. Hi, Leslie. You're welcome. Please sit down. Let's call that out. Okay? I'm in no sitting mode. Well, I insist you sit down. Maybe you have one or two questions to ask me. Yeah, maybe I want to ask you who owns this house. Or better still, maybe I want to ask you where you got the money to acquire all these parents of your own. What do you want me to ask you? Leslie, um, please, I think this is not really the right time to do all this talking. Listen, Rose. Can't you see I'm not in a talking mood? I want to know. I want to see that mysterious white man that has stolen my love with a house gift. Maybe somebody should just tell me where he is. Please, try and understand. Understand what? Understand that your person what I know through my soul. Understand that the only woman I ever loved all my life is turning out to be my last and worst nightmare. I rather that she'll understand. I didn't know what for me to understand. Okay, she'll understand that the girl who ever told me that she loved me with her whole life. Shutting the door of her heart against me. What did I do wrong, Tracy? Where did I come from? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. That's all I get. It's just that I don't want this relationship anymore. I just have to move on.
was the meaning of that? What was the meaning of what? What was the meaning of that? What was the meaning of what? God, you are taking this thing too far. And how did he find this place? Maybe I told him. Rose, how did Leslie find this place? Girl, I didn't tell him anything. Maybe you don't know that the world is watching you. They are. Well, let them watch me for all I care. I just want to be over myself. Come on, son. Talk to me. I am your father. We can solve the problem together. There's no problem, Dad. There's no problem. Just that I, I, I want to be left alone. Just, just that. I know about her. Yes. She is not the best for you. Try and put her behind. You know about her? Yes, son. Now, be a good boy now. See, my son, all that glitters is not gold. Yes. Come on. It's all right. Try and put her behind you. Dad, it's not easy to forget her. It's not easy to get out of my mind. She's been a part of me. She's, she's like my world. She's my time. I mean, she's my life. Oh, she is not. And she will never be. Try and put her behind you, okay? She'll be okay. Cheer up, boy. Cheer up. Let's go upstairs. No. Oh, it's alright. She'll be okay. It's just a matter of time. Right? No, no, no. Let's go upstairs.
Jesse. Sir, is everything all right? There's somebody out there that wants to see you, sir. Just, just come here, come here, just, just go, go, come, come, just go out. Come from the front, just, just go, go. himself inside his room all day. He has refused to talk to anybody. And yet you say I should not be worried. Hi. Doctor Ezekiel. Yes. Leslie, please come to this to me. Doctor, this is Chief Brown. Yes, please, please, doctor. I want you in my house immediately. There's an emergency. Yes. My son. Chief, doctor. please be fast. My only son. Okay, doctor. Thank you. It's a mere case of anxiety and depression. Okay. That's all. Doctor, mm. are you sure he should not be brought to the hospital? Ah, Chief, there's no need for that. Uh, with the help of the intravenous injection given to him to suppress the anxiety. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> it's a small thing. <laughs> Doctor, yes. please, will my son be well again? Ah, why not, madam? Relax, your son will be all right. Eh? All he needs is enough rest. Prepare something good for him so that when he wakes up, he will eat. Chief, I'm on my way, please. Yeah, doctor, thank, thank you very you. much. I, I cannot appreciate you enough thank you, for thank the you. urgent attention you have given me. Thank you, Chief Brown. Thank, thank you very you. much. Okay, madam. Thank you. Bye bye, 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 bye. Thank you. of the marriage that I'm not ready for marriage right now. When will you ever be ready to do something? The only thing I've ever seen you ready for is studies. You want to acquire the whole degrees in the field of medicine. That is it. 
Look, I want you to tell me when you are ready, and that's all I want to hear from you. Hey, don't worry, Uncle. I will tell you when I'm ready. Just be prepared for the showdown. It's going to be a society wedding. Uh, even if you like, let it be a world wedding. I will show them that I, Chief Daniel Mbadiwe Phillips, is equal to the task. That's my uncle. I will show the world that my own blood brother is wedding. It's very soon. Just go and get a woman of your choice and uh, sleep. It's I will take care of the whole thing. Trust me. Yeah, that will happen very soon. Yes, you better do that. <laughs> Lily, <laughs> 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 What about me? Huh? Who will not miss me? Don't mind him. I'm just telling him to go and get married and have a daughter like me. She's my sister. Right? I know now, but you are my that's good, that's good. So, uh, why didn't you call before you left the U.S.? Surprise, I wanted to surprise you. Guys, you, you won. And and this is a surprise of the century. What about America? Oh, oh my God. Uh, I'm American. <laughs> You can trust me, Lillian. Just give me an opportunity to show my love for you. I promise you will never regret it, right? See, what if I friends, no problem. Relationship we can. friend, we stay in the same neighborhood in California. We came back together so his kids say hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure he just came to say hello and nothing more than that? Come on, Daddy, I'm not so daft to forget what happened to me in the course of love. Trust me. I see. Okay, I believe you. Just keep him company for a while and let him go, okay? Yeah, I, I know Leslie is my friend and um, colleague in the office. Yeah? What? Accident? Where? When did it happen? Oh my god. Oh, okay, which, which hospital? Which hospital? Ikeja Medical Center. Okay, Ikeja Med Okay, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not in Lagos. I'm in, I'm in Port Harcourt right now. Okay, no, no, I'll pass the message across to his parents. I'll, I'll, I'll call them, okay. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, Chief. Yeah, Ben on the line. Chief, I, I'm already in Portacourt. Yeah. Sorry, Chief, I just got a, a, a message right now from um, Lagos that uh, Leslie is involved in an accident. I, yes, Chief. I, yeah, I, I spoke to him 10 minutes ago. I, I guess they, they, they got my number from his, uh, from, from, from his phone. 
Yeah, the last number. I, I, I guess so. Yes, Chief. I, Ikeja Medical Center. Very close to Allen. Yeah, they, they, just, they just rushed him to that place. Yeah. Oh, okay, Chief. Okay, okay. Thank you.
Father, look upon thy son. Father, you say he's more than a conqueror. Oh, look at me, your daughter, Father. Lord, bring my happiness into my heart again, Lord. Oh, every place in thy hands. Special one mm -hmm. for more than a month, her son. Her only son. This is this right there in coma. And um, this as a result of the ghastly accident in the country. Oh, poor boy. Why? Well, as it is now, I don't know. No one knows whether he's going to survive the coma or not. But then, there is hope. There should be hope. <laughs> That's your job to yes. save lives. <laughs> That is why we're here. Yeah. Imagine that woman losing her child after praying that much. We try our best. We cure God heals, you know. Uncle, I don't like the smell of this place. I'm going home. Why don't you wait for the lunch? No, what? No. Yeah. I'll see you later in the house. Okay. Lilia. Okay, I'll see you at home. It's my sister. <laughs> Father, bring him back to his feet again, Lord. Bring him back to his feet again, Lord. Put joy back into his heart, Lord. Put joy back into our hearts, Lord. Let happiness come back to us again, Father. Lord, I beg in you. I have no other God besides the Lord. It is you and you alone that I will always know to know to seek.
Nigga. What is wrong? You are not eating. Don't you like the food? I'm eating, Dad. You don't look happy. What is it again? Oh, you want to go back to the States? You see, I can put your bill if you don't want to stay in the country. Tell me, what is it? It's that young man I saw in the hospital today. He's in pain. I feel for him. You mean Leslie? Oh, yeah, um, I've been having, you know, having such cases here, you know, in the hospital. And, uh, but there is something about the young man's case that baffles me. In fact, he needs divine intervention. And who is this young man that has attracted so much concern for my family? Uncle, he's one of my patients. In fact, um, he got involved in it. That reduces into mere vegetable. He's been in coma for about a month now. Mm. That's a business. Oh, I'm sorry. Daddy, you need to see this young man. He's in bondage. Daddy, he needs help. Oh, yes, I agree with you that uh, he needs help. But then there's nothing we can do to help him. We are not doctors. See, that's the thing, that's the point. This case has gone beyond the power of status quo. He needs help. Okay? Uh, I can help him. Lydia, what are you talking about? What do you mean you can help him? When have you become a medical doctor? Look, you are not going to see anybody. You're not going to say, please. That the cry of his mother really touched him. That woman needs her son. I, I can help him. I can, I can try. Daddy, his, his, his case has gone beyond medical school. Please. Um, okay, okay. If I permit you now, how do you intend to help him? I'm only going to talk to him. He needs someone to talk to him in the language he's going to understand. Talking Daddy. to him? Okay. Lillian, maybe you just want to go there and while away your time and nothing more. Because I've never had such a stupid and childish talk as to what you have just said now. You see, the problem you have is that you're too emotional. You better cut it. Daddy, Forget it, it won't work. It can food. work. It worked in the state. Daddy, if you can walk over there, you can walk here. My God. Daddy, Richard, you see, my sister will never allow me to concentrate on one thing. Well, I think, um, Uncle, you, you just have to... But it's okay, have... it's okay. Uh, we'll discuss about that later. I think yes. that's the best thing. That's it's the best thing. Nah, it's it's just first and terrible. Hmm? Eight, eight. Hmm? My dear Charles, I don't know how to explain this, but I had to take this tell because I thought it very mean and greedy of you to dump Claire, irrespective of the good plans she had for you. I had to save the innocent girl before you sent her to the dungeon. I told her the games you were playing. I actually was the one who stopped her from sending your $300,000. She invited me to America, quite all right, and we are now happily married. Charles! You are dead. Tony, I can't believe this. You did this to me, your only friend. You took away Claire from me. Tony, you betrayed me. $300,000. Tony, you betrayed me. Why did you do this to me, Tony? Oh, God. I thought I had a friend. So, Claire took Tony to America. Oh, my God, I'm finished. I'm finished, my God. Tony, if I eventually get to America, Smash you! Tony! I thought I had a friend. Tony! Good afternoon. Hi, Mr. Charles. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, um, why do you want to know about Mr. Charles? Any problem? Uh, 
Nassau, I'm Mr. Charles Nusa. Yes, I am Mr. Charles Nusa. And if I may ask, can I get to know you? Inspector Sonny Du from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Mm -hmm. This woman here was arrested early this morning for a credit card shopping scam. And she mentioned your name as the head of the cartel. So, Mr. Charles, my friend, you'll be needed at the station for some case today. Please. Uh, I, I see. We are all Mr. Right? Charles, do you want to go in peace or in peace? Why don't we just go in and settle this? You see, we are from which police station? But you see, we can settle this thing. I mean, there's move this man. We, go. We, yeah, we can talk. Move, we, oh, we can settle this thing. Thing. been four weeks now, four good weeks, and nothing has happened. The chief, we are trying our best. Your best is not good enough, doctor. My mother died trying to make me a kid brother. I was very little then. The doctors had told her that the baby had died in her tummy and needed an operation to get rid of it. The operation was successful. But to our own children, the doctor that conducted the operation had forgotten a surgical blade in her tummy. My mother died so in the subsequent operation trying to correct it. That was how I lost my mom. Things has not been the same with us ever since she left. I still feel her presence everywhere I go. Me especially when I come to places like this. Doctors. Doctors. They make her my mistakes sometimes. Huh? Look at what they have cost for you now. Now, Chief, you see, we are going to make Now listen, you are putting that boy off that machine today. Jesus Christ! What have you just said? You want what? I said you are putting that boy off that machine today because it's a waste of time and money. It's outrageous. You can't do that. It's totally unacceptable. In fact, it's against the ethics of my profession. Nonsense. Does your profession for the bills? You charge me 70,000 naira every day that boy is on that machine. Decollect it. Mr. Sir, we, everything we are doing is... I said you are putting him off that machine today. Because that boy is already there and you are only siphoning money from me for nothing. You can't do that, Chief. Who said I can't? Who said I can't? You just watch me and see. Chief, it's not fair. That boy is your flesh and blood. Whatever it is, let me go and bury my dead. Thank you. For the first time since she died, I visited the hospital. I heard you cry and he trust me. Can can I can I call you mommy? I really really want to call you mommy. Can I? Oh, my baby. You can always call me mommy. For 15 years now, I've been traveling all around searching for who to call mom until yesterday. <laughs> Chief, what is the matter? You're asking me. I want to end it all today. It's a no. We are living here today. Nonsense. The doctor knew that this boy is dead and he still keeping him here in order to produce the stock money from me. That he has failed. Chief. You should allow me to do what I want to do. Do you hear me? Not yet dead, please. Don't do this to him. The moment you remove him from this machine, he dies. Oh, Chief, please. Remember, he's the only one that we have. Please, Chief. Don't let the world to love us, don't. Let me try. 
give us more time. Please. I, I can't forgive you. I, I can't. Because of you, let me give this doctor three days. After three days, if there is no improvement, I will let him. Oh, 
forgive him if there is anything that he has committed against the Lord. Father, give him this one more chance, Lord. Give him this one more chance, Lord. Father, I'm begging of thee. I'm begging of thee. Help me. Help me, Lord. So, what are we? I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, but you just have to get up, you know. What do you want? What do you want to tell you? Know? You just have to remember the day you were born. You know, a young man growing into a young man went to a primary school, secondary school, university, and everything. You don't just have to treat away like that. You know? Yeah, you still have a lot more things to do. Not this. I've got me the mic. Wow, yeah. So, Leslie, you can do better than this. You're actually a handsome guy. Yeah, you are. I'm not trying to flatter you, but you are. So many things you have to do when you get up. Yes, it's been like this. You'll be fine. Well, I guess so. Yes, let's keep up the good work. Thank you. So let's see your friend is here. Can you just say hi? Yeah. That's At least that would do. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. You too. Have a nice day. Yeah. I will. Talk to you more. <laughs> I will. You will listen. Alright. We'll pray so. Here we are. Alright. Okay. Okay, bye. Leslie, your friend was here. I couldn't even say hi. That was bad. He has just left. I mean, Ben. punishment why would you allow my enemies to laugh at me oh Leslie Leslie why so soon Accepted the better for us. 
They're only keeping him there in the hospital. In order to continue extorting more money from us. I know it. If this is a defeat, I will accept it and bury my death. God forbid! Not my son! Not my son! My son is not dead! Leslie is not dead! God! God, please! But my son, God, please bring him back to life. He is my only hope! So let my name is not for me, No! No, my son will not die! No! <laughs> What's in this game they do now? Tracy! No who go now? Where is this girl? Tracy! Come on, people squad there. That boy is going to finish me. Hello? Hello? Hi, baby. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Still coming in tomorrow? Okay, I'm still expecting you. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, but please, there's, there's a problem. I'm sorry, I won't be picking you up at the airport tomorrow. I have an exam. Okay, when you just come, you just um, take uh, an airport taxi and say you're going to um, Melvue Estate in Ikeja. Number 22, Melvue Crescent in Ikeja. Okay? It's not difficult to locate. Okay, baby. Okay, bye. <laughs> Winners don't quit. You're a winner and you know it. I don't know where you've been, but you're still a hero. Okay? Talk to me. Just talk to me. Come on, just try and remember something.
Outside your gate. Yes, yes. I'm outside your gate. Yes. Okay. I say, where is Tracy? Is it true that Tracy is dead? Rose, talk to me. Talk to me. I, I want to know everything. Please. What else do you want me to say? Do you want me to say that she's not dead when she is? Yes, do you want me to say? Tracy is dead. She died right in my house. You're joking, right? How do you mean Tracy died right in your hand? How did it happen? Rose, speak up. I want to know everything, please. <clears throat> the white man, uh, Mr. Pierce, you know, as we discussed about his uh, the man actually called us from close to our gates and you know, told us he was at the gate. We ran out to welcome him with all excitement. Pushing out. 
from. You see where this old thing has landed at you too? I didn't wish her to die. You did? I didn't say she should die. I just, I just we wanted the money. She wanted the money. She, she, she just wanted to have something like this. She just wanted to, to be on her own. She just wants to have a good life. So now tell me, where is Tracy? Where is she to enjoy all that money? Isn't she dead and gone? Given Leslie. Leslie is every woman's dream. He's rich. And so, I could give it to her a platter of gold. Instead of appreciating that, she chew all that to and start emphasizing about one white guy she never ever know how the person looks like or anything. Now, just tell me, can she come back now to eat that money? I and your daughter share a similarity in our past circumstances, and um, I think what we feel for each other is, uh, is genuine. Nonsense! Vivian, are you blind? Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? Look at him. This is how they come, subtle and genuine, but deep inside their heart, full of deceit. Are you blind? Daddy, this is different. Please shut up! Shut up! He is. That, that, that is that's not like that. It's not like so that. So, Uncle, you you can't do this to Lilian. Huh? She's old enough to take care of herself. That she wants fed in a relationship does not mean she will remain the same. What is it supposed to mean, Uncle? Lilian is in love with Leslie, and that is it. You are confused. You are confused. No, Uncle. Jim. You don't know what you're saying. I'm not. Richard, I'm disappointed in you. Yeah. Please, if I may come in on this. I think there is no need for us to get worked up. My son and your daughter had passed through the same situation before. And I believe this is the only way God wants to compensate them. And I guess you're going to be my future in law. Yes. You see? You see? <laughs>
just a bewitch Oh, they betray the people who love them They break hearts and destroy lives Because of their greed, they desire what they don't need For the love of money